Hello everyone, this is Suya Sheer. So now in this video we are going to discuss about the anatomy of our uh, liver. Okay, so this is we are going to discuss about the external structure of our liver, uh, the boundaries and the surfaces and the lobes of the liver. Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss specifically the lobes, how they are divided on the basis of surfaces. Okay, what are the lobes? And in the next video we will see about the ligaments. Okay, ligaments of the liver. So it will be short videos in both. Okay, so it will be easy for you to uh, revise. Okay, so let's begin with the uh, anatomical lobe of the liver. So liver, you know that it is situated under the diaphragm in the right upper quadrant of your abdomen. Okay, right upper quadrant means it is in the uh, right hypochondrial region or some part of your epigastric region. So these both uh, areas in the abdominal part are more prominent area for your liver. Okay, so uh, now we will be beginning with the surfaces of liver. So liver has actually two surfaces. First surface is your diaphragmatic surface, which is actually superior surface. And the second surface is your visceral surface or inferior surface. So by the name, it is clear that the diaphragmatic surface or the superior surface is actually covered by our diaphragm. And the inferior surface is actually covered by our visceral organs. Okay, so visceral organs can be like your uh, colon, uh, duodenum first part can be there. Your gallbladder is actually there. Stomach is there. The right kidney is there below that. So these organs organs are actually uh, covering the uh, inferior surface of the liver. So that is why the surface is called as visceral surface or inferior surface. So on the basis of these surfaces, we are go uh, going to divide our anatomy. So they are actually physical lobes also. So uh, not physical, physiological lobe. So that is not our uh, part. Okay, so it is very detailed. So this is the basic lobe, uh, basic anatomical lobe of our liver. Okay, so let's begin. So the first surface is actually your diaphragmatic surface. I will write here. First, uh, I will be showing your diaphragmatic surface diaphragmatic surface or you can say it as superior surface okay superior surface of liver okay so this surface is actually superior surface and this liver has actually one border so this liver doesn't contain any type of lateral or medial border this has only one border that is called as inferior border okay which is dividing your superior surface that is diaphragmatic surface and the visceral surface okay so uh, there is no such any type of border there is superior posterior border but that is so much blunt that is considered as a posterior part of the liver okay so uh, just remember one border so in the diaphragmatic surface this is actually from the uh, anterior side you can say it as okay or the superior part so i will be drawing the diagram of your liver okay and that i will show you it will be easy for you Okay, so this is actually your superior or diaphragmatic surface of the liver. Okay, and this is actually divided by our falciform ligament into two lobes. Okay, so this is your, this is your falciform ligament, which is dividing your diaphragmatic surface into two lobes. Okay, so this is your falciform ligament, falciform ligament. This is actually peritoneal uh, ligament or peritoneal fold. In the ligament, I will t tell you in detail. Okay, here only just remember the name. This is actually dividing your diaphragmatic surface. This is your diaphragmatic surface or space surface into right and the left lobe. So this is your right right part, and this is your left side. Okay, so this is your actually right lobe. Okay, right lobe, and this is your left lobe. Okay. So right lobe is actually uh, covering five out of uh, five out of sixth means five six part is covered uh, on the uh, diaphragmatic surface five six part is of your uh, right lobe and one by six part of is your left lobe okay and the physiological uh, anatomical lobe uh, physiological lobe it, it is that uh, there is right and left lobe are actually equal okay so just remember this point also so this is actually the division of your right and left lobe by your falciform ligament and below your falciform ligament has a fibrous cord which is the remnant of your umbilical vein okay so umbilical vein is actually coming from umbilicus and it is actually in the fetal life it is obliterated and here it forms a remnant so it is called as ligamentum terrace okay so this is your remnant of your umbilical vein ligament ligamentum terrace okay which is located on the inferior surface okay you can see from the inferior surface like this so it is coming from umbilicus area here from here okay so this was a division of your anatomy uh, that is your uh, uh, lobes present on the diaphragmatic surface right and the left lobe okay by your falciform ligament okay so this is uh, your divided into right and left lobe okay so this is actually larger right lobe okay this much is clear so on the superior surface you can see only two lobes right and the left lobe now let's see our visceral surface visceral surface visceral surface 
or your inferior surface okay inferior surface and in the diaphragmatic surface i will tell you there are actually if you consider there are actually five surfaces so out out of five surfaces four surfaces are included in diaphragmatic part four surfaces are included in diaphragmatic part that is your anterior surface your posterior surface your right uh, uh, that is your right side of surface that is this area and your and your superior surface okay and in this only inferior surface so there are total five surfaces on the liver out of which four are included in the diaphragmatic and one is included in the vestibular surface so now let's see on the posterior actually in the with when you will just see from the inferior side liver you what lobes you can be, you can see so i'm drawing the diagram here of your uh inferior surface of your lobe uh, that is liver okay so like this Okay, so this consider this as your uh, inferior surface of the lobe. Now uh, you know that there are grooves actually for impressions or grooves uh, for your gallbladder, your uh, your inferior vena cava. Okay, so I'll be showing you here as a groups. So there are actually two longitudinal groups, two longitudinal groups, longitudinal groups. That is your right and left. Okay, so this now this here uh, this side is your actually left side. and this is your right side because we have just seen from the inferior side okay so this is your right so here is your left lobe and this area is your right lobe okay so now there are two, actually two groups uh, right and left groups and one transverse group okay transverse group so by which the lobes are divided by these groups the lobes are actually divided in the right lobe actually so so right lobe is actually dividing further into uh, two lobes okay two lobes and right uh, the remaining part is actually right lobe so actually three lobes in the inside the right lobe okay and the one part is your left lobe i will show you here okay so first uh, in the posterior side actually so uh, below is your anterior side and above one is your posterior side okay so superior surface uh, uh, just uh, uh, back to that will be your posterior surface so above one is actually posterior surface and this one is actually your anterior surface okay so i will show you here as a just an example with different colors so just consider this in the right side as your ligamentum groove for your ligamentum teres okay here and with the blue you consider it as your groove for your inferior vena cava okay so these are actually in the posterior aspect so this is in the left side this is in the right side okay and like this in the anterior there will be also so i will show with you a different color okay and here there is groove for your ligamentum venosum okay and here is your groove for your fossa for gallbladder gallbladder okay like this and in between there is a groove for your portal hepatis okay portal hepatis like transverse it will be actually transverse okay which color okay take that as blue color okay so this is actually your portal hepatis so there is not actually edge shape just i am drawing for your easier but it is actually little bit uh, tilted or little bit oblique like this so the easier for to divide the lobes on the inferior surface okay so now let's divide so as you know that this area is actually your right lobe okay from here ligament is there this is your right lobe and this part is your left lobe so what is uh, your right longitudinal groove is how it is formed so right longitudinal groove is actually this much area okay right longitudinal groove is actually this much area so it is formed by posterior by your ivc inferior vena cava and just anterior it is formed by fossa of gallbladder okay fossa of your gallbladder and left your longitudinal groove left longitudinal is on the posterior it is formed by your what the spin color is what remnant of your ligamentum teres which comes just on the posterior aspect from the inferior portion okay so this is your groove for your group in the posterior side this is for groove for your ligament teres so groove for ligamentum ligamentum teres okay and now anterior side there is groove for your ligamentum venous venosum so this is actually uh, the remnant of your ductus venosus in the fetal stage okay ductus venosus ductus venosus in the fetal life okay so it is also a true ligament so these both are actually true ligament this ligamentum teres and ligamentum venosum because they are just the obliterate part of obliterate part in the fetal life okay of the ductus venosus and your umbilical vein this lig uh, ligamentum teres okay so now this was actually your uh, division now i will divide this into lobes okay so upper part is actually your caudate lobe 
so c is coming in the alphabetical region c is coming before so c is actually quadrate low this is your quadrate low and this one is your quadrate low so q n and this part is your right low and this is your left low okay so it is dividing into four lobes okay left left low right low quadrate low and your quadrate low quadrate low okay so quad, uh, so quadrate low on the left it is uh, your uh, ligamentum uh, venosum and uh, in the right side uh, there is your inferior vena cava in the quadrate lobe and the right uh, left side there is your black one is your ligamentum teres and and the and the left and the right side there is fossa for your gallbladder okay so this was a division of lobe on the inferior surface okay so this was actually the division of your four lobes in the inferior surface and this is your actually this is your left longitudinal groove this whole part and this part is your right longitudinal groove so left longitudinal groove and this is your right longitudinal groove okay and these are your and you can just consider what were the parts which are present on the right and the left side of these lobes so these are actually the lobes which are present on the western surface the quadrate lobe and the quadrate lobe okay and quadrate lobe is a little bit larger than the quadrate lobe okay and just remember for remembering just remember the alphabet c which comes in the alphabetical uh, sequence before so it is above and the q comes later so this is down so this is can be just for easy to remember the positions of this lobes so this was your anatomical lobe in the next video we will see about the ligaments thank you